Hey there, Cancers. Welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Just the Empress. So I'm so glad you decided to come here. And if you are new, please, please like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. I really would like, you know, a love for you to be a part of the family here. And today we'll just be doing a little tarot. So I'm going to dive right in to it, to you, Cancer is Cancer, excuse me, energy. So before I ever read, I do like to meditate and just get a feel of the energy and I felt like, you know, you cancers are, uh, you're dreaming of like, you know, um, I wouldn't say a new beginning, but just how can I level my life up? How can, you know, you just want to develop, you want to plant some seeds for the future, kind of network, you know, kind of revise yourself, you know, what do I want to experience in life? Like, is this just it? So you're starting to question certain, not all the way, you don't maybe the rules or the construct of a uh system so you're really starting to um go there and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that so we'll see what tarot has to say we'll dive right in i won't get too wordy on this particular read so let's go in yes 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 all right thank you god and all our spirits angels and ancestors and guides we welcome all that is holy all that is pure always okay i already set the intentions and saved a little so let's just see what we have for you guys today all right mm. okay Ooh. damn mm. Ooh, some friction around you guys i see oh. okay cancers and you know i am not for sugarcoating anything but um, it's not all negative, but it's some, some things, some things around you guys. Okay, first of all, I'm going to just start here. This is the energy of the reading, and this is the hanged man, but she is reversed. Either way, she hangs. But I think when she's reversed, this is a cancer that is, once again, I started out saying it. You're looking to, like, level up. You're stopping. This card the hangman is a stop it's a pause it's a reflection like what am i doing or what am i not doing <laughs> like um what can i do better how can i be a part of you know the society you know i think certain cancers just like some of us fellow scorpios can't kind of go in our crab shells and you know this is what i do this is my home i got it how i want i'm comfortable here and that's just all that matters but no, no, no. God wants us to spread our wings and help others or brighten our lives up even. Once again, it's not just, it doesn't have to just be stuck one way for 20 years. Sometimes conformity is good. Shake it up. Make it happen. So I think that you are kind of going there. You're feeling there. But as a cancer, you're kind of feeling like, oh, well, it's comfortable here, though. But no, don't get stuck in the old story, cancer. That's the message here. I already feel that. And that's your energy. Like, this is the way it's going to be, and it's just how it is. No, not necessarily. We do get choices, and we get to choose whatever. That's what our good God does. He even gives it to us. It's called free will. So you don't have to um, conform to anybody else's will, especially if it's not right. And that is job, marriage, relationship, whatever level they can be on for you. And also right behind it, because this is... Honestly, Cancer, just be honest. This is your energy. Or this is your thoughts. These are your... This is what is bringing you here. And this is the devil, boo. And he reversed. So, this does not mean, you know, Satan's going to come down and cast a spell on you. But it does mean that there are dark thoughts around you. Dark energies. People who don't want to heal. People who are faking and shaking. And, yeah, it's affecting you, Cancer. I feel like it's even bringing you down. And whether you know it or not, this may be um, mm, kind of messing with some of your personality traits as well. So watch that, Cancer, because this card don't pop out much, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, so that's the devil. That's kind of where your mental states are. Of course, this is self-sabotage. This is dark thoughts. This is following behind a leader. Whether they be at your job or some type of setting like that, a club, a group, 
or even just a relationship. If I'm having somebody that you know is no earthly good, that you know does not mean anybody, including yourself, good. So watch that, Cancer, because right behind that, because what you have to keep on doing now is, is restoring your, your mental state, restoring your health. And, you know, we can do that, but at the end of the day, nobody should have to keep on going back. Oh, Lord, I got to go pray about this because so and so and so and so. Just tell this person, get the strength and tell this person, this group, this leader, this husband, this mother, father, whatever it may be. Because, because, because. What I feel here, they're not right. And you're just sitting back just like, well, <laughs> you know, no, 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 cancer. That's not what we're doing. And I don't even mean to read this way because this is not, but the cards are not lying. Like the energy is here and I feel it. And this is nothing even negative. But sometimes we have to be told that. Like, get up, stand up, you know. Don't sit back and let someone, especially when you're this sweet little flower child. And you sitting back letting a whole demon just destroy, whether it be a, a, a group of people, a family, a situation. You letting that take over when you know you're not supposed to do that. You know you're supposed to stand up and have the strength and not only sit this person down, but you're starting to go there now. I think you even, with the hangman being here, you're getting a new perspective on. If I'm sitting here allowing this person to be, a.k.a. a demon... <laughs> What is that for me? You know, what what place does that put me in? Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein's bride, pretty much. <laughs> but moving forward, Cancer, not to be negative at all. But there is, I don't feel that this is you. At a, at, this one good thing. This is an energy around you, a person, and one person in particular. And I feel like a man that he needs to get himself together. He is wrong. He does things wrong. He doesn't treat people right. And and, and and the devil already bad enough, but he's reversed. This is somebody who don't give a good doggone. <laughs> he doesn't care. He likes it. They like it. However, this resonates for you. But I feel a lot of masculine energy here. That's the only reason why I'm saying male. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. This this is just a start here. And the energy is heavy, y'all. I feel it like mm. Eight of Swords. Also, someone who is ooh, sorry, plain. I won't even say plain, but once again, you are a Cancer. Cancers are smart, intuitive, and intelligent. They're like psychics. They know what's going on. So this is a Cancer who's sticking in a situation, group, friends, work, whatever it is. You know it's wrong. You know somebody getting mistreated. Hell, it could be you getting mistreated. But you are just going, putting band-aids on it, or just covering it up. But the Eight of Swords come is to say, you can stand up and get you a new story. Because if you notice, she is not bound on this side. There's nothing. She's just in her thoughts. But look where her thoughts have taken her. She feels bound. But guess what? She's not. She can simply get... Get um, some scissors and cut these cords. Now, whether that be walking out of a situation completely, yes. But even if this is someone you have to deal with, it's just time to set some health, healthy, proper boundaries. These are things that you can fix. Don't think that you're blindfolded and you're, you're, you know, your hands are tied. I can't do nothing about this. Yes, you can. You are the only person that's going to do able be able to. Okay, so yes, uh, cancers. I feel here. Yes, time like you like I was saying in the beginning, rewrite rewriting a story. Rewriting that, even if once again if that's in a group or connection, rewriting writing that, and also right behind it is the five of wands reversed. Because I do feel feel like it's. A strong masculine presence here, but on top of that, there are people also behind them or him following. I feel that there's a group of people that are causing you stress and to be overwhelmed. And I feel that these people are like neck to neck with this person, like that. 
Cancer, all I can say is, if you got a group of friends you're hanging around and it's just like no good, because I can see Cancer's doing it because they're just sweet. And they like to, you know, be around, I would say, action, you know. And sometimes people that are not, you know, vibing in good energy, they can be nothing but action. So I just say to that Cancer, baby, please don't diminish your beauty. And I mean inside and out. By fooling with people who will never come up or, or don't, don't want to. Because, you know, you get to choose when you want to redirect your life. But these people here, they like what they do. They love it even. So if you're part of some type of group, you are the only bright light in it. Because you, you're here. This is you, Cancer. Nothing but a big ball of strength. But you need to activate this strength and deal with these people. Cut some ties, cut some cords. And once again, if this is not walking away from a situation completely, this can definitely be um, you redirecting on how people treat you. You or how they, you know, you tell them to you want to be treated. Okay. Mm. This reading is so okay. I'm gonna read. Like I said, I don't really come to do love readings. But when love shows up, I have to follow spirit and I read spirit. Some of you are in a connection that you need to get the beat out of, okay? This person is not good. And it's one thing, you know, if you were, like, on this in this energy. But you're not. I always tell people, like, like dark people are people who kind of want to be wicked or hurtful, mean, narcissistic. They always want to be get the flower child, the sunshine, the the person who is sweet and kind. They never want to go get a devil like them. They never do. And honestly, I'm gonna just be real. There is no passion in this relationship, none whatsoever. I don't even feel love here. It's just like a system or something. And back to the beginning when I stated we don't have to sit up in these systems and and and. and the rules of what it, the status quo on what the American dream, our, our lives supposed to model. Uh -uh. We don't have to do that no more. So just for that cancer who is, when you get the strength, and I pray you get it really quickly, because this person is making you a dark person. I'm just going to be straight up. Their, their energy, of, if it's not already, it's eventually going to wear you down. So let me move forward. Because that is clarifying that. Absolutely. Matter of fact, it was like this. So. Okay. Yes, Cancer. Because for you, I feel that you're not doing your work as you should. It's like you're doing the work um, as, again, what the big picture, what it looks like on the outside. You're not doing what's the most important to God. The inner work. You know? Um, so that's important. I feel like it's a lot of materialism here, like far as just, again, what we want people to see, whatever that is. So that's allowing you to not be fully recharged and rested. This is like burnout energy. And if this is not you physically being tired, this is your mental. And once we are mentally tired, that's when illness comes, guys. So watch that energy of just taking on, taking on, taking on. Cancer stuff. So I ain't sitting around here sick, dealing with someone else's stuff, just because I want to keep quiet and keep it in. And if you're gonna be there, let it out. Like I feel that too, real strong. Spirit is saying that if you're gonna be in them situations in them groups, let your voice be heard. And when they stop liking it, cause they will, they're gonna say something. And then that's when you make your pew exit, if that's what you choose to do in your life. Okay. Because, honestly, for you, Cancer, things, the future is bright. I think you connect to certain things because they look good to maybe your peers. But start connecting to the things that feel good. Now, look good. Connect, Cancer, connect to the things that feel good to you. The things that you know are right and righteous and beautiful and light and loving. Connect to that. Because your future is bright here. Because right behind that is the Four of Pentacles. And for some... Oh, I hate that this is such a love reading. I swear, I just like to come read energies of the spirit. Once again, I have to listen to it. For some of you that leave this very dark, hurtful connection, you're going to be absolutely fine, baby, because she comes to show you that you're going to be stable in money. Four of Pentacles, 
that is money stability it's like we need the four corners of a home to stand you know without those you know maybe you know it's a little shaky but this is financial stability having your coins aligned having money in the bank account having what you need in a solo dolo way so i feel that that's the energy here these cards are solo they are alone because god has a mission for you there's something else deeper that you need to be doing not just sitting behind the curtain okay okay all right yes because oh it's such oh thank you jesus <laughs> It was a lot of dark energy right here. I'm going to just be honest, guys. But this is so much brighter. Because this is so you. All of these are you. Four of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles. Right by five. Five in the financial stability. Again, nine is also God's holy number. Nine is also a solo number. Once again, starting over alone. But this is Spirit's message. I'm going to line those coins up so good for you, boo. You're going to think you still, you know, in... Whatever connection it is, you're gonna, it's going to be more of a blessing. Because really, the connection you're in now, whether you know it or not, you're getting breadcrumbed. But in your cancer mind, you think, oh, well, at least, you know, at least he's doing that. Or at least she's doing this. Uh-uh. And I'm a witness to you, you know, thinking that a certain, I'll just say, you know, that I'll say it like this. God will supply whatever you need. You don't need your mama, your daddy, a husband, a wife to do that for you. You don't. I know a lot of us think that. But baby, God will come bless your life, restore you. Just as solo dolo. But if you keep manifesting, oh, I need people, oh, I need, I need this, I need, man, okay. That's what you're going to get. Mm-hmm. So stay focused on what's important because right behind and that's why i feel is a lot of this was tough but this is good energy some of you cancers are becoming spiritual healers or you need to be this is the energy that god wants you to walk in because he has a a, a, a plan for you and you can't truly fulfill that if you're in the shadows with this energy right here once again cancers it'll be your choice but there's a lot of, I feel it's even on your mind. You know this ain't right. You know it. Certain things has been happening even. Because yeah, God has a message, a plan for you, baby. And it not, it's not just this. You are to be a healer out here. You are to be a spiritual teacher. You are to be talking and healing. And also, this is a message to keep your cup full. You are a king of a cup. That means God ordained you especially to be someone to call upon, you know, like a guru, a spiritual teacher, whatever that is. So, Cancer, please go be that. And I hadn't met a Cancer, honestly, that isn't like this intuitive, deep, emotional, empathetic person. So, you guys are great, and most of them are very spiritual and religious. So, don't let your opportunity pass you by and have to do it again next time, the next lifetime. <laughs> So yes, that's the bottom of the date. Be a king of cups. And I am going to ask for a little outcome. Let's see how far we got. Yep, wrap it up. Out. Ooh, Ooh they came right out. Mm. Why is she going to come out twice? Dang, Kansas, what are y'all doing? <laughs> I don't be no harm, but Kansas will normally have a lighthearted read, but it's the people around y'all, though. Out of one person. So, yeah, back to, this is the same card, just a different day. No, excuse me. This is actually the Ten of Swords. <laughs> this is like a, this is Spirit's message. This is a rock bottom lead, first of all. I have been stating it in this reading, but this is like a message from Spirit. Hurry up and check out of this. Whether you walk away, pack your bags, or whether you mentally check out. Whether you say, look, I'm not dealing with this no more. I'm not doing any of this anymore. That is okay to do that, Cancer. Because guess what? Once you do that, right behind it is one of my favorite cards. The world. Share of them, actually. The world. God is going to give you the world. And I think for some Cancer, you feel like you can't have that. But no. We can always rest up, restore, and have a whole new beginning. 
no matter what level, what age, what, however, you know, whatever that falls. So I think a clear message here, this is outcome energy. Cancers, you're going to have to think about this situation. You might have to, again, really evaluate these people. I hated their family, because that always gets hard. But anything else now, I think should be easy. Because <laughs> it's not right. This is right. This is not right. They are not real. I feel like they're just really self-consumed person and stuff like that. Thinking about themselves. Thinking about money. Sabotagers. A little narcissistic. But yeah, God wants to give you the world. So stay in that, okay? Please. Yes. Let's try to heal and restore our lives. And I am going to ask the African goddess. And then we will end this reading for you, Cancers. I'm going to just pray for good energy for you guys. And strength. I just really have to say that you need some strength right now. Mm -hmm. All right, African queens. Show us. Give us a message. Okay. I don't think I've had her before. So we will see what she comes with. And this is Mama the Jumbo. And her message is simply to what? Shine, shine. Yes. Shine, Cancer. What I've been telling y'all. This whole reading. Excuse that. They're doing some lawn work in my apartment. So sorry about all that noise, guys. But this is Gotham. Ma, ma, di jumbo. She glitters as the guardian of lush green forests of Guani. You are born to shine, Cancer. Be seen, be heard, be movement. We need to know your name. We want to learn your dance. Daring to rise and shine starts with the courage to be seen and heard. What I say? Your stories matter, Cancer, and someone needs to hear it. Fear of shining brightly keeps you in the shadows, hiding and shrieking. There is no way to claim your voice. Avoid rejection or criticism, judgment. But guess what? You are not for everybody. If everyone likes you, you are not really being you, what I say. Goddess declaration or just something to take with you, Cancer. I am ready to be seen and heard. Once again, my sweet little Cancers, I am. I am. I'm ready. I'm ready to be seen and heard. And you make that your affirmation for the week. I'm ready to be seen and heard. And ask God for the strength. Because he will need it. Because I feel like this person is going to make this difficult for you. Or this group of people. But I really feel real strong. It's a masculine presence here. So. I'll be praying for your strength, Cancer. And this is, once again, your future looks bright. I just hate that this dark energy is around you right now. And I pray you find the strength to get up, pick up, and stand up. Okay? I love you guys so much. And once again, please like comment share and definitely subscribe and until next time my sweet baby cancers namaste